Hi everyone, it's me again, Dora Night One Two Three, and we are doing a one-off game plan. If you don't know what a one-off is, guys, it's where you just do one episode. And today we are doing Scooby-Doo First Sprites. And the reason I'm doing this, you may ask, is because um um I did a review on, it and I thought I might as well show off the game. Let's go ahead and let. This cutscene play. And dear gosh, Scooby fainted. Old shaggy like far out man. That's a very convenient musical um, to be playing right as the food competition is starting. Okay, I don't even know if you guys can actually read the, um, letters or subtitles, so I'm actually gonna skip this cutscene and just let the other. Uh, this is a new game, so we don't have any rewards or nothing. There is four episodes, but we're probably just gonna do episode one to showcase this game. There is four levels. There's, um, two levels that are only, like, six or seven minutes long and then there's like um ones that can be cleared in like one or two minutes tops skip this one too I wish you could just um press the button and I am not using the classic controller um I'm going Full on authentic with this and doing it just um, with the regular Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Go ahead and get some Scooby, um, I almost said Dax snacks. Get some nice graham crackers if you know what I'm referencing. I actually had those in first grade, the uh, graham cracker snoo Scooby snacks, and um, I'm gonna be honest, I was not too impressed buying them. You got some at my mom's house right now. Um, apparently we have some at, um, me and mom's house, so. How convenient of a, um, whole place right there. Also, how the heck does a dog just randomly learn to double jump? I don't know how that's possible. May they ate so much food that they start hallucinating and can do a uh, double jumps. That's my guess. Okay, can we please just, can we land on the thingy? Thank you. There we go. And the Scooby Snacks in this game are used for, um, to buy costumes. And they can unlock re rewards, I think, too, sometimes. I did not actually know you could skip that cutscene, but apparently you can. What garbage truck is just randomly carrying around Scooby Snacks? I don't know. This is a cartoon that's about, like, five teenagers or four teenagers, a dog. And the dog and one teenager usually have the munchies. So what would I expect for a cartoon with that premise? Okay, um, Shaggy, okay, whoops. How you switch again? Okay, there we go, C button. And then Shaggy literally just say that he's a crackpot. Yeah, I said, yeah. Okay, now that is kind of overpowered that you can literally make the ground. Okay, Scooby, there we go. And go ahead and switch to Scooby. And if you press the Z button, you can do like a super attack. Also, um, 
I would recommend this game if you like being lost and you're a pretty big Scooby-Doo or a Camp Barbera fan. Skip cutscene. The loading. I think there's, yeah, I was gonna say that was pathetic for a first level. Because I think there's like a Daphne segment after this. The chase and boss battles are the levels that really um, are just insanely short. Go ahead and do that so we can hop over. Okay, apparently we actually have to slide it over a little more. It's actually been a while since I played this. I haven't played this game for like a year. Well, almost a year. I'd say at least like... um. 10 or 11 months, so about a year. And unfortunately, you cannot just um, spin really fast or it just does that. So just slowly rotate. Get out of there before that thing explodes. Yeesh. We need light in here, apparently, by the power of throwing books. Okay, I'm actually going to be Fred because I feel like actually fighting instead of throwing books. Oh, wait, we need Velma for this because um, pretty much anyone except Velma in um, Mystery Inc. Um, usually is not the smartest. Do you have to be a genius, though, to... Um, do these because usually with a football switch I would think you would just need um to switch on a switch but uh, apparently you have to enter a button combination for this football and we got Phantom Club. And I think this level is actually based on Phantom of the Opera because it takes place in Opera and Phantom. I just draw comparisons. Let there be light. Yeah. Or wait, is, is this a baseball field? I think I got that wrong. I'm not in the sports, guys. Skip cutscene, which actually introduces a character. Um, but we'll find out who he is by the end of this episode. It was um, a coach, actually, guys, if you were wondering. Go ahead and knock these guys out by throwing multiple books that explode in the pieces of paper. I've never seen an attack method like that. Okay, there we go. Beat all the bad guys. Vandalism. I actually just realized that about Scooby-Doo, you basically going in the building without permission. But apparently in cartoons, if you're poor radical teenagers and adult, you can uh, snoop in the building. Makes a ton of sense. Give me those Scooby snacks, even though I'm a human. Also, um, did anyone ever notice... The fact that um, Scooby Snacks are named after the main character, that seems kind of convenient. Okay, so here is the first actual, like, fight. Um, you basically have near unlimited lives in this. I think you only die if you and your partner die at, like, the same time. Which is very unlikely. Um... But your health bar usually can be replenished pretty quickly. And like there's these items right here where you can just keep knocking hearts out as much as you like and just refill it completely. Go ahead and beat up some more bad guys. And get some nice heart. 
I would say those would be um like purple Scooby snacks or something. Oh dear gosh, we got hit by electricity and did not die. Praise the Lord. Just gonna walk through lightning and just get up like it was nothing. Also, sorry if you hear me button mashing in the background, guys, but that is basically how you chain combos. And dang, we are 13 hits. Dang, we are owning these guys. I think that was like 25 hits, dear. Yeesh. 27, apparently. Okay, so we are owning this level currently. In this um, part, there are bad guys that come out, but um, I basically just run away from them. Unless they are at the top to where I just beat the crap out of them with sausage. Some lethal sausage. Dang combat cold cuts if you're getting my reference there. And was there a skeleton in that locker? Because if so, he's kind of trapped right now. Hope he does not suffocate. Okay, get off me, skeleton. And we got a costume that we can purchase. I think it's football, Fred. Boom. Oh, wait. Five of them. Yeah, Fred, football player. And each costume mainly plays differently. Um, so I think that's a um, decent touch that they did. So basically, it's not completely repetitive. Which um, is the case for most licensed games out there. They're usually um, not all that great. And come to think of it, do I just be all the bad guys? Because um, apparently I am not finding a exit. May it's in here, I'm not sure. Let's see, nope. Indeed. Um, okay, there we go. Just had to be all the bad guys apparently. Got some witches. This is really the only challenging part of this level. Um, but yeah. Who do we got? Daphne? Oh, wait. Okay. I'm gonna go with Daphne because she has this awesome, um, spin kick in the air. Ninja Gaiden on you. Uh. Get down here, you dang witch. Still my sandwich. Give me back my subway. Does that mean these are all Jairs in disguises, though? Because that's kind of creepy, especially considering these guys are teenagers. Eh, yeah. Okay. Actually, I will switch to Scooby. Because he, um, can swing in sausage. And everyone knows the witch's weakest point is obviously the sausage. And there it is. Okay, I was confused. Like, where is the witch? And which witch is it? Yeah, oh, come on, man. Okay, we are going to... Eh. Okay, there we go. Die, die, die. Okay. So we are halfway through this. Okay, wait, the shaking... Okay, you can shake the Wii remote, apparently. Oh, wait, oh, gosh, I was still Daphne. What the heck? That was, um, very strange. Huh. Okay, these dang witches are blending into the environment. Either there I have poor eyesight currently because I am not spotting these um, witches too easily. Is that another one? Okay, now we're getting this. Now we are owning these guys. Okay, yeah, we got this. Just have one more. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Skip cutscene, and there we go, beat the first level, which was, um, decently long, actually. But, um, go ahead and show you guys the chase level. And we are about to get chased by the phantom. And these levels basically hold for dodge a couple stage hazards, and... Well, they're fun. They are pretty, um, 
darn easy. Even when it gets close to the end of the uh, game, they're pretty darn easy. The only um, semi-challenging one's the very final one. Um, but actually, if you guys do want to see one more showcase on this game, that's completely fine. I'm just doing one level for today, though. And dear gosh, okay. Falling into bottomless pits in a high school is bad. Morals. Run. Run, dog, run. It's actually running on your own two feet. You have to speed up. Santa can do that and he's an animal. Speed up, Scoobanic. I don't even know. I need the power of puns on my side. Plus you have like unlimited lives on um, these. So there's really no um, danger unless you um, just run to every obstacle obstacle in the stage. Um, I guess I'll do the rest of this because there's not much more. This level is way shorter. And here is Fred, um, which you actually play as, um, during the game. Some costumes you actually do play during the game. And he, apparently he can jump high because, um, or wait, maybe he can't. Okay, let's just climb up this like Sly Cooper Daphne. Okay, there we go. And there we go once again. And, okay. Yeah, he. And now we just gotta search for some clues. Um, here's the part where I think, yeah, five puzzle pieces, which are not super hidden. I think some of them you have to destroy. Um, some items. Is that one? Yeah. Apparently, um, wrecking things in this game equals finding clues, so good job. Okay, there's another puzzle piece. And maybe some of the bad guys home, I forget. I think just items in some parts of this stage. Okay, that is for Shaggy. Oh no, I got pushed off. Gosh dang it. I'm gonna, ugh, stinking ghost. Can I just jump up? Okay. That's a pretty dang high jump for a guy who's dressed in complete football wear. That is kind of impressive. Oh, uh, creeping him and boom. Also, sorry if my voice sounds a little... Gosh dang it, I'm gonna kick these ghosts butt, even though they're ghosts, so they technically do not have butts. Who just places ghosts on a swing, um, platform? That, um, seems kind of ridiculous. And what the heck, did I just get pushed off with an invisible barrier? Okay, apparently this level is going unfair Sonic mode on me. I shall not play that game with them, though, even though this is a game. May I just have to hit him with some footballs on these platforms, and gosh dang it, oh, there we go. And there's got to be one close to here. May it's this globe. Or may it's that enemy. Oh, yay. Come on, please hold. There we go. Coach's whistle. Okay, so... If I remember correctly, the coach is the guy who was behind all of this, so, um, yeah, when we fight the boss, each boss, you have to guess who, um, committed the crime, even though we're doing vandalism, so who's doing the real crime, I don't know. Um, but each boss at the end, there is a suspect you have to pick, and, um, you really have no conflict because it does not change the store. It just gives you, like, um, well, nothing, really. But I think, um, come on, Fred. Okay, there we go. Stuck on something, I guess. Go ahead and slam some more ghosts. Okay, do we get combos with projectile attacks? I'm not sure. 
Let's see here. Okay, apparently we do. And they, oh my, 35, what the heck? Okay, so gosh dang, man, we are doing pretty good on these combos right here. Oh dang, I missed all those two weeks now, but that's all right. Okay, so Fred um, basically just throws um, the football, so that's actually kind of handy for these witches. Oh dear, accidentally double jump. Come here, Ooh, there we go. And one more, which is just flying into the wall. That is great AI programming. I actually played the PS2 version of this first, but um, I only rented it. And I was like, eh, um, I um, should probably get this because um, I actually found it at uh, GameStop. It was only like 10 bucks. Um, we do not need any hearts right now. Okay, so do I just go down here, maybe? Oh, okay, there's switches. There we go. I think uh, skeletons jump down um, here or something. May not. Okay, yeah. Bam! Mm. Okay, could we actually hit these guys? Yes, we can. Okay, there we go. Those are some powerful in nuclear um, footballs. If when you slam it into something, it completely explodes into dust and blue. Seems kind of overpowered. Overpowered sausages and overpowered footballs. And overpowered books. How lovely. Go ahead and smash these boxes. We need Scooby for that. I think you can unlock um, free play on this game. So it's kind of like a Lego game to wear for unlockables. Sometimes you have to revisit levels on free mode. Okay, I was about to jump into that. And dear gosh, they need to have an inspection for this library because this is ridiculous. I mean, my um, junior high library has... Quite a bit of books, but look at this. It's literally a bombless abyss of books and lockers, and that seriously just fall off. I'm actually gonna try and bam! Come on, zoom! There we go. And land! I come on! I think Fred's um, jump in this is a little unresponsive. Yeah. Maybe it's just me, but it sure seems like it's kind of unresponsive. Okay, so we got some kind of freaky butt. Um, actually, I don't even know what the heck that is supposed to be based off of. I am not the opera guy, so I would not know anything except Fanta from the opera. The 1920 version, that is. Okay, wait. Hold on. The, oh yeah, I remember this. Um, just keep holding B and when you're in this mode, um, press B again and it does a super attack, which usually comes pretty handy. Okay, so we're getting really close to the end of this, um, um, episode on, um, this. Okay, could I please, there we go. Actually, I'm switching to Daphne. Her platforming is way better than Fred's. Yeah, hers is way more responsive. Okay, thank you for the Scooby Snacks, Fred. Come on, man. Okay, and apparently Scooby Snacks give you combos. I have no idea even. So apparently items that you can get give you combos too. Seems kind of strange. And, okay, we need Fred. Apparently, we need manliness. Might as well be churning um, butter very slowly. And apparently, Fred gets caught on that when um, he um, stops. So, I'm just going to play with Daphne. 
plus she's pretty fast with combos. Whoa, okay, we were about to get um, washed off into oblivion. Okay, and we were about to fall off into oblivion. Kind of like that goes. And there we go. Uh, Fred, you okay there? Um, okay, apparently he knows the power of instant transmission, so that's kind of handy, I guess. Okay, let's get this costume, and that is Bandito, um, Velma, which is kind of, gosh dang it, I'm going to kick your butt. Okay, whoops. Fred, protect me. Gotta do it fast, gotta go fast. Gosh dang it, every single time. I'm on the, oh my gosh, I am gonna. There, you want some combat? There you go. Or man, let's charge up. Can I do a mid-air attack maybe? Okay, apparently. Come on, man. Almost just got one more. Yes, okay. Now I can fully kick these ghost butts without hesitation. But I'm actually just going to go in here because they're annoying to fight anyway. Skip cutscene. And just got to get through that door. And just go ahead and charge up super attacks. And that is, come on Daphne. For some reason you can't do it while you're moving. Which I find really um, strange. Very odd. Okay, we are owning this guy once again. Just charge up a... Okay, whoops. That was for nothing, apparently. And there we go. So we'll do the boss, and there we go. Skip the cutscene. Okay, now how awesome is this? We Are Velma is a bandito, which is basically Legend Zoro. Okay, let's go ahead and, okay. Maybe I should beat these guys first, or um, just go over here. This boss fight is an early boss fight. It's pretty fun. Nothing really special. It's pretty um, easy. Just go ahead and program this. And boom. There is one. Plus there's these fountains which like I said give you pretty much unlimited health. So yeah just pretty darn easy. Once these skeletons I'm gonna kick their boobies. There we go. And boom. Now we'll come down and we can kick his little um, ghostly booty. Even though ghosts still don't have butts. Okay, we got to beat these guys. Which is pretty easy because we only have to do four. Wait, wasn't that four already? I'm not sure. And, yeah, this guy basically just wants to dash at you. He's really nothing special of a boss. And his life bar isn't super huge or anything. Honestly, the hardest boss, in my opinion, is um, everything but this boss. Go ahead and get us some health. Wait, can I charge up my attack, please? Okay, now I am ready. Oh, there we go. Dang, that did quite a bit of damage. I forget if he jumps back on the stage. I don't know, but he is pimp slapping me. Pimp slap you with the dang man veto sword. I'm actually gonna charge up my uh, super attack again. There we go. Okay, almost. We can do this, guys. We can do this. I think if um, I do just one more super attack, I think he will be done. Okay, yep. 
There we go. Skip cutscene. I love how he's like, I beg mercy. And look how it is that he's trying to be Coach Hayes. And real quick to make sure, yep, there we go. Skip cutscene. But that is all for this episode, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, gameplay. Um, if you feel like it, you don't have to. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And um, in the comments, tell me if you'd like a second episode showcase of this game. Um, but yeah, that is all, guys. Um, and yeah. Bye, guys. I will see you next time. <laughs>